So we want to build a business in the process of paying off debt. They got all that money sitting there doing nothing. Some fundamental things that we could incorporate is we could look at the infinite banking concept. We could. We could take, you know, maybe, uh, so I'll put the build a business on this category. And then I'll put IBC on this side, call it the legacy plan. Or what I like to call it the kingdom plan. Legacy plan, kingdom plan, IBC. What is IBC? It's another debt tool, but it's something that you create. You become your own banker. You copy what the major corporations and institutions are doing with their money to multiply your money that you give them every single day via your paychecks. Right. So all we want to do is redirect where we're putting our money and then send it back out to make more money. So preferably when I'm dealing with older clients, I look at the youngest out of the spouse, out of the two, I look at the youngest, healthiest, right? To incorporate the infinite banking concept because you're dealing with life insurance, okay? Let me be clear, life insurance is not an investment, it's simply an asset. It's simply a place to store money safely grow and compound tax-free right so it's not an investment it's an asset class right? we call this tier one is what the banks call it there's their tier one out asset this is where banks and corporations store their cash a lot so banks don't store their money in the bank. Can you, believe that? Can you believe that? They put their money in these high cash value life insurance policies called Boley and Coley. Bank owned life insurance, corporate owned life insurance. This is what the wealthy do. Pay attention to what the wealthy do. Even the Bible instructs us believers to go make friends with the rich, to learn what they learn and do what they do to be effective kingdom citizens on planet earth right probably won't learn this in church because the church has failed to explain in detail they focus too much on tithing and this is why a lot of people have been walking away from church they've been walking away from their faith and they just they rely on this money and the money is not something to rely on let me be super clear money is not the key to happiness but it'll buy you things, okay? Money is not the key to solving your purpose in life, but it'll solve problems. It'll solve things, but it won't solve you. You gotta get you going, okay? So here's another uh, tool that this couple can put into place. And typically I would probably put it on the wife. She's younger and women statistically live longer than men by a couple years, I think at least a decade. So the cost of life insurance would be cheaper on her than on him, right? And that's just facts. No getting around that. Not an investment. It's an asset class. Simply used for saving. Saving money, right? I can use it tax-free, which is good. It compounds tax-free, which is also cool, right? And this isn't my end-all, be-all strategy. This isn't my, you know, make a ton of money here. But it's the place to park money safely, have it continue to grow, but then be able to multiply the dollar. I can strip the dollar out of it, have it keep growing in one place, and then make that money work for me elsewhere. So what this couple can do in the process of velocity banking, using the bank's products, is they can also take a portion of their existing cash on hand, establish a policy, putting in X amount of dollars per year, 
and then we borrow a certain amount and we fund a business, right? Now, maybe not a brick and mortar, but in the 21st century, I think one of the best businesses to start is probably an online business, right? An online business, right? Home-based business, right? You got e-commerce, you got the whole drop shipping thing. I've been looking at that. That's super cool. Okay. You got MLM, network marketing, direct sales, right? You find a product, something that you can get behind, something that you can trust. Super cool stuff. So these are probably the most effective low cost barrier to entry barrier to entry to start making money in right there's also affiliate marketing if i can spell that right and affiliate marketing is pretty fun too because you simply hook up with people like myself right you find influencers that you like that align with your mission and purpose in life you reach out to them, you hook up with them, you find out if they have a program, you find out if they have a affiliate program that they can make money off of. It requires no work on the back end for you. All you're doing is bringing knowledge and wisdom to the right locations. And in my opinion, I think we as a nation, United States, and even probably in other nations as well, that the young generation, my generation, is starving for wisdom right? So people of this age, people who have been on earth for more than a half a century, I believe now is the best opportunity on planet earth right now to be over the age of 50, have all this knowledge of what one world looked like versus a new world, right? That we're in right now, it's super advanced technology and all that good stuff. But what an opportunity for older, I should say elders, right? With a lot of wisdom, a lot of knowledge locked up in those brains of yours that you can provide, right? The younger generation, myself, right? And others provide the younger, provide the younger generation with wisdom, Wisdom is a lot different from information. See, we millennials, we got a lot of information. We got too much information, right? A lot of it's not true. Okay, a lot of it's false hope, false doctrines, it's left and right. It's too much. So we get, we get stuck in limbo and we get accused of being the lazy generation. It's not true. We're actually very, very um, caring. We are passionate. We want to make an impact, right? So what all millennials say, oh, I want to make an impact, right? But the problem is we don't have the wisdom. We need the wisdom. And people like this, who have problems like this, finances, you're killing us, right? So not only are you affecting your life, but you're also affecting the next generation. You're killing us in the process of you not expanding beyond your initial interpretation of a thing, right? You're too stuck in your precepts your concepts, your ideas, your philosophical beliefs are preventing a lot of people from expanding and being, you know, just being, right? Being in the process of success and providing that wisdom that you know, that you're aware of, all that wisdom that you know, you're aware of. We want to be able to provide it to the younger generation. So I think there's a big, 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 big opportunity at hand, you know? So <clears throat> those are some of the things that I would recommend this couple to do. This is a powerful thing to engage with. Like I said, I think the most attractive businesses today right now are probably online business, right? Home base, e-commerce, drop shipping, uh, Shopify, uh, all those types of uh, network marketing companies and multi-level marketing companies, all good stuff. Kings and queens take action, okay? So that's why I want to 
you know, inspire you, motivate you to take action, to think beyond your limits. Whatever limits you've created in your life, think beyond them. Get to the next level. There's people that need what you have, right? All that wisdom that's built up, how do we transition that into a business, create wealth, get out of, get out of all this bad debt, maximize our money, okay? So I'm just going to finish my point over here of an additional thing that this couple can do with their pre-existing cash that's earning 0%, right? So whatever that cash was of savings, which is probably about 20 to 30 grand is actually savings. And let's say they save 20 to 30 grand a year. All I would do is just redirect their savings and put it into something that's going to earn anywhere from 4 to 6% tax-free, right? We just want it to grow steady consistently, right? We want to provide a legacy plan. This will help us incorporate estate planning, which nobody talks about, by the way. I never hear anyone talking about this stuff. Estate planning. We're going to build a trust. We're going to start a will. A living will, living trust, revocable. Okay. We're going to establish maybe a nonprofit, some sort of fund where we could obtain properties and sell the properties to the trust. Because when you reach a certain age, you have to be thinking contribution, contribution, contribution. You're going to be leaving this earth soon. You want to leave with nothing, right? You want to die with an empty tank like Paul did when he said, I am done, right? My work is done. I fought the good fight, right? I, I kept the faith and fought the good fight, right? You want to be just like Paul, okay? You want to leave this earth, man, empty. You don't want to leave the earth with a book inside of you. You don't want to leave the earth with a business inside of you, okay? So what I'm doing is just laying out options, opportunities, okay? If you get connected with me, I'll just share the different opportunities that I have available. You know, I'm involved with different network marketing companies, affiliate marketing. I'm an influencer. I have an e-commerce business. My business is basically home base. I do have an office, but, you know, majority of my work is done at home, you know? And all I'm trying to get my clients to do is not only just think, how do I get out of debt, but how do we create massive wealth in about a five to 10 year period? So that by the time I leave this earth, all of my kids, my kids' kids are all set up and I radically change the culture of myself, my family, right? Some of you have cultures that have held you back financially and spiritually, right? Physically, right? There's different cultures. There's so many different cultures. Some are effective, some are ineffective. I'm not saying they're right or wrong. I'm just saying they're, there's ineffective stuff, right? I grew up in a household where a lot of the things that I was witnessing were ineffective strategies to build wealth and walk in purpose and have faith. So I had to step out of that and discover, okay, you know, what am, what, am, what am I here for? What can I bring to the table? And what can I offer? Okay. So with a policy like this, person establishing an account, let's say they dump, you know, anywhere around 20 to 30K. And like I said, preferably we want to put this on wife because she's younger. The cost of insurance will be cheaper. Preferably, <clears throat> we want to stick with whole life. Now, I haven't made sense yet of the IUL strategy for older individuals. I even have spoken to a lot of uh, some IUL agents and a lot of them say that IUL isn't so good for older individuals because of the high cost in the beginning years. It takes a while to actually like really, you know, build up a lot of wealth. Whereas whole life is a little more consistent, very predictable in the fees and costs. You, you can see everything. Right, whole life is more expensive in the beginning years. Right, so the first two years are the most expensive years. Right, so the first one to two years is the most expensive years when establishing an infinite banking policy. So this isn't we're not establishing a regular traditional whole life policy. 
where you pay for high premiums and high costs. We're not trying to do that. Again, you want to unlearn and relearn this new concept that can you know, help you think very differently. You want to analyze the positives and the negatives of, of the infinite banking concept. What are negative people saying about it? What are positive people saying about it? What are neutral people saying about it? Look up the data, right? Just research. Do not rely on one source. Do not rely on one person to tell you everything, right? You, you want to verify. So if you're going to be following an individual, you want to verify that information, right? By looking it up, Google, go to the direct companies that they're recommending or talking to. Uh, this way you can become an informed prospect, an informed customer, so you never get fooled. This is what I like to tell my clients that work with me, is that everything that I teach, I'm showing you how to do it. Once you get it and it clicks, you can never be fooled. Not by me, not by anybody else when it comes to your money. You'll never be fooled.